Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So yes, it's time for another Face Mask Friday and today we're going to have a look at the Talica Bubble Mask Bio Detox. Now I think I'm probably still one of the few people that has never tried a bubble mask. Um, I've seen quite a few reviews and I've seen it on Instagram and everything and it was quite a bit of fun. Something very, very different to what I've ever had before. Um, so yes, yeah, so I got this one in one of my beauty boxes. Can't remember which one might have been my Look Fantastic box. It is available on the Look Fantastic website so I shall tell you a bit of information about what it says. So it says discover the cutting edge of skincare with the Talica Bubble Mask Bio Detox, an innovative firming charcoal mask that contains thousands of nourishing micro bubbles transforming into an oxygenized firm when put into contact with the skin the formula draws inspiration from celebrated korean skincare methods to offer effective detoxifying and hydrating properties enriched with bamboo charcoal to unclog pores and banish impurities the mask utilizes a dose of infrared light to stimulate circulation and cell renewal resurfacing the skin for a completely cleansed effect meanwhile a probiotic extract sourced from korean rice wine balances the skin tone whilst smoothing damaged skin and replenishing vital moisture the complexion is left clean bright and glowing with health sounds rather fabulous it is paraben free dermatologically tested um what else? So yes, it's just unfold the mask, lay it on to clean dry face. Um, a fine dense foam will um, form. After 10 minutes, take off the mask, massage the foam on your face and then rinse. It is for single use only. It weighs 25 grams and it is currently reduced on the Look Fantastic website. It is meant to RRP for £8.50 but it is currently on sale for £6.80. I'll pop a link down below in the description box and do a pinned comment so that if you are looking for it you can head on over and have a look and get it yourself unless you've got one packed away in your stash already. So it does say to keep away from the lip area um, and yeah it's got lots of information on the back and lots and lots of languages so we shall give it a go. I have already taken off my makeup. I'm a bit better prepared this week. I've got my hair mat. <laughs> Yeah, my um, headband all ready just to keep my hair out the way and um, yeah so we shall have a little go so I hope you're all having a good day now you're ready for the weekend um, so I've had today off and I am off tomorrow as well but then back at work on Sunday so I think next week I might try a glam glow mask I've got a couple so maybe just put um if you head on over to Instagram um, later tonight, I'll do a poll and I'll also do a poll here on um, YouTube as well between two masks and then you can choose which one I do next week. Um, so here we go. So it comes out like this. It's very wet, very black. And um, yes, so I'm not sure if I'm going to chat to you whilst this is on for 10 minutes or what I might do actually is... I will carry on chatting and have a bit of a catch up with you. I might start doing this every week actually with my masks whilst they're on. But then what I'll do during editing, I'll just go from putting it on to the final bit afterwards. And then if anyone's interested in all my chit chat catch up, that'll be at the end of the video. So that way those that just want to see the video review can just get that and then push up. <laughs> so here we go. So it feels really slimy. Oh, it's already firming in my hands. So let's get this on. So just trying to take care. So it says keep away from the mouth. Make sure it doesn't go in my eyes. And I'm just using the um, viewfinder as my mirror. So I'm just wanting to make sure I get this done properly. Ooh. It actually clings. It feels like it's clinging really well. I just want to make sure I unfold it all um, so I get good contact all the way around. Oh, it smells nice. It's got a subtle fragrance, but it smells really nice. And, um, right, it's on. So, let's have a look. What time are we on? I need to get 10 minutes. Okay, dear, okay. So, it's already bubbling. Um, right, so I shall be back in 10 minutes' time, and then, um, see you then. 
Right, so here we are. <laughs> um, ten minutes are up. For those of you that haven't, um, well, none of you'll know yet. I started drawing little faces on me <laughs> on my mask, but oh my gosh, look at this! It is. It feels really comfy, actually. Oh, it's a bit tickly. Um, so yeah, it feels really, really nice. It does feel a uh, moisturising um, on my skin. So look, I mean, like literally, look. They're just so thick with so many bubbles. So let me just take this off. Oh, what a shame to get rid of all those bubbles. Look at that. It's so bubbly. Um, oh. And then it just says to pat these in, rub it in. It feels like soap, actually. Um, and then need to rinse off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go rinse it off. And pat my face down, let it dry, and then we will be back on final thoughts on this mask. See you in a minute. <laughs> right then, so I'm back and my skin feels, it feels really, really nice. Um, it feels really, really smooth and then really, really clean. Um, let's have a little look. Yeah, it's always hard, isn't it, when it's just been sort of scrubbed and things. But it does feel very hydrated. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what it's like tomorrow. I had a little bit of a breakout here. I think I'd, um, I'd use some of my liquid gold. And I think it just irritated my skin a bit. Um, so, yeah. And then that was just a bit sore from that. So I'm going to lay off that for a few days. Um, but, yeah, overall, I think... It's probably lived up to its claims. It was a really interesting mask to try. Um, the bubbles were just like bonkers. Um, I've never ever had a mask like that before, so that was really, really fun. Um, but forgetting all that, like little gimmicky things aside, it obviously serves a purpose and it's bubbling for a reason. And it just feels lovely. Um, the mask fit really well to my face. It didn't slip whilst wearing it and I was sat up the whole time. Um, so yeah, it, it, it fit well, it, it stayed on, um, the bubbles didn't drip off everywhere and um, it was really, really comf um, comfortable to wear and um, the bubbles, when I rubbed the bubbles in it felt a little bit like it was starting to dry, a bit like um, when you use soap on your face when it just sort of goes really, really creamy with the soap. So it felt a bit like that but it rinsed off really, really easily and yeah, as I say, my skin feels... I actually think it does look um, a bit brighter. Um, so I'm really, really happy with that mask and I'm really, really pleased that I have used it. So yeah, thumbs up from me. I really like it. So just to show you again, I've ripped the top off it, but that was the one there. It was the um, the Talica Bubble Mask Bio Detox. And then, um, yeah, £6.80 from Look Fantastic. And then, um, yeah, I loved it. So if you've got it in your stash, get it dug out get using it and let me know what you think of it um, if you've tried it. If you've got it there and you're planning on trying it, do let me know when you've used it and then what you thought of it. And that's it. So I'm going to push off. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, do give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment and don't forget to um, hit the bell notification if you subscribe as well. Um, if you're wanting to know all about my chit chat nonsense, then do carry on watching and I'll just bob that on at the end just whilst the mask was developing. So you'll see how the bubbles are forming and listen to me wittering on for 10 minutes. <laughs> but otherwise, good night. See you all again very soon. Take care, guys. Bye for now. Right, clock is ticking. Gosh, I'm affirming already. Um, so I just thought, yeah, I'd use this time. I thought, I just thought earlier on, why am I not having a chat with you whilst I've got my face mask on? And then it's a little bit of a catch up and let you know what's going on and, and things like that and what I'm up to. So yeah, got been off today, it's just been nice, been with Glenn and um, went for a carvery with my mum and dad as well, so we took them out. And then I'm off tomorrow, so I think we might just, me and Glenn might go out for our dinner and have a couple of drinks because then he's um i'm back at work on sunday oh look at this already um and then he's going away to um to have some intensive treatment on his leg on monday so he's gone off to a treatment center for two weeks just to get some intensive therapies and things and see if that's gonna help with um 
with sort of things. Those I don't know, my husband was involved in a really bad car accident last summer. So yeah. Um, so yes, that's gonna be, he's gonna be going away, which is really weird for me. So um, yeah, I'll probably just keep myself busy um, on an evening and things by just probably do a lot of filming and things like that. And then um, I might not be uploading all the things, but I'll get loads of filming done. Um, I think I'm gonna probably declutter all my makeup drawers and each sort of section so I'll do some declutter videos and then just start to stick them off over the next couple of weeks. I'm thinking about trying to do an inventory as well on all my makeup. Um, I saw it on, I think it was Nikki Pearson's site that she'd done an inventory and she does it every, well just at the start of the year, the middle of the year and the end of the year to see how her products, what she's used and if she's ended up with too much of one thing and, and what not. This is really tickly on my skin. It's so weird. Um, yeah, so that's the plan, is to do my declutter. Um, and I wanna, I'm going to be quite brutal, I think, and just... I need to just sort of pull back on it. I'm also going to reorganise all my craft stuff and go through everything there, because it's been, like, so long since I've crafted. So I just want to get all that organised, and again, be quite brutal, um, and just think, what do I want to keep? What kind of sort of, like, maybe sort of pass on to some, um, like, cubs and brownies and scouts, things like that, that might be able to use some crafting things that I don't need. Um, yeah, and then we'll be getting ready for our holidays in a couple of weeks' time. So I need to try and sort through all my clothes and what I'm going to take with me. But, yeah, it's going to be really weird without him at home. So I might have to do a little live video um, with you as a little live chat. Not sure if anyone would watch it, though, so I might be just be chatting by myself. Um, I also need to film my Q&A. So loads and loads of you have sent lots of questions, so thank you for that. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, what else? Not much, I'll be working, I'm working a lot. So um, that'll keep me out of trouble and my mum and dad are gonna sort of like um, dog sit Ruby through the day. So that's great because she's been really used to having Glenn at home all the time. So I think she'll be quite lonely when he goes away. So yeah, bless her. Um, yeah. Ooh, look at this. This is the weirdest thing. I need to go show Glenn. I'm gonna go show him at the end. Wow. Oh, it's... It's a bit itchy on my face. I think just because it's sort of all the bubbles are popping underneath. Um, oh, it's oh, it looks like a moustache. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think I meant to do that. Um, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, yeah, that's making me happier. Um, what else? I'm not sure. Is there anything in particular you want to sort of see on my channel or want me to do um, next month? It's like I'm going to have so many beauty boxes come in and it's like I'm going to be away. So like <laughs> I just thought Ooh, my mum and dad are going to see how many boxes get delivered and they'll think like I'm absolutely bonkers because I think I'm going to have... Oh, I've got the ones that come every other month and it's the months that they land as well so there's two extra to what I usually get because they only come every other month as I say. So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing all of those. Um, I've got a couple of collabs coming up as well which I cannot wait because there's been so many um, people that I've made friends with on YouTube. I love it. So yeah, I want to be a bit more involved that way like on like a friendship and community point of thing. Just bringing in people so that my, my followers, all you guys that watch my videos then you can sort of have a look at these other people that I'm friends with, you know, and go visit their channels and things like that. Um, and I want to try and start doing a few looks and things as well. Definitely want to start focusing on the makeup I've already got. Maybe do a pan that, um, pan that palette thing. Um, project pan, that's what it is. I think I might do a project pan and just maybe pull a few items and just see if I can start working my way through those. Let me see where we are in here. Oh, it's only been six minutes. Man, I talk a lot of gibberish and don't get anywhere. Um, what else? Ooh, who have I been enjoying watching this week? Oh, so, Lightning Lass, love her. I've been watching her grey hair transition. So, if any of you are um, really interested in growing out your um, any dyed colour and going back to your natural colour, she's doing so well. That's her gone up to a three month update, and I watched that this morning. Um, she's just one of the loveliest ladies you'll ever see on YouTube. She's gorgeous. So, head over and see her and give her some love. Um, I 
think a few other people have started thinking that they might be going to do like a face mask Friday as well. So there's, you may well be spoilt for face mask reviews. Um, so that'll be interesting. I think definitely there's um, Wacky World of Lottie because she's as bad as me. She's literally got hundreds and hundreds of masks. Um, so I think that she's going to be doing one. And I think Museum Girl 135 said as well that she is considering doing like a face mask Friday series. So I'm going to copyright it and then get some money out of this. <laughs> Only kidding. I think it'd be really, really good. I think we just all need to use our masks up and all our stash. Um, we need to just stop buying so much stuff and just use what we've got. This is massive. It's so foamy. It is the weirdest thing. It feels really nice. It feels really moisturising on my skin. It feels lovely. So yes, yeah, so I started sorting out some of my craft stuff today, which is important. It's good. I need to do that. Um, and yeah, as I say, I'm going to start doing my declutter. And then... Um, oh, I need to start crafting. I'm really, really itching to get crafting again. Um, so it's been so long since I've made anything, but I'm like, I'm wanting to make some jewellery. Definitely want to make some jewellery, want to make some more cards and things. But um, I've been looking at jewellery, um, like bracelet designs and things. Um, I've been posting a few um, random pictures on my um, crafting Instagram page um, of things that I've made previously and that. So I'll maybe start putting a few more things of my old creations on and that'll be, um, maybe inspire me. I've also this week, um, which has been really nice, been back in touch um, from when I used to blog like years ago and I had my crafting blog. Um, there was a group of us, and the blogs were very, very new back then. And so there's a few of us, and we seem to like be at the um, the front of like all the crafting blogs and that. So, and it was like blog land, as we used to call it. It was a much smaller place, and you ca you made some really lovely friendships, and everyone kind of knew everybody, you know, all the main crafters and things. And then, anyway, it's been years and years and years and our, bl our blogs are all gathering dust and things. And then for some reason, one of them posted something on Facebook and then I replied and then we got chatting. And so I think we're all going to um, arrange a bit of a meet-up um, this year. So this is the year we're going to get back in touch. A lot of us have stopped making cards, which is just mad. I think we probably just overdid it and we just burnt out from making cards because there was so many deadlines and it's quite pressurized and um and we all did it in our free time you know and it was just uh, at one point it just took over my whole life i had no spare time i was just literally making cards all the time so yeah the love for it went but um no i'm really excited to get back i am just looking at this i look crazy i look like a, a panda it's like this here's gonna all bumpy up like the elephant man. It does feel really nice. Um and that tickly sensation settled down. And if you like it, it's, uh, uh, it feels a bit slimy underneath, but it does feel hydrating and um it feels nice. Where are we now? Right then, so this has been on for ten minutes. So I'm just gonna go show my husband, then I'll be back and we'll get it off. 